But before I do that, um, since we are telling stories, I want to tell you a short story that will make sense or put perspective into everything that you've been told here today. So a few years ago, uh, I was working with Dockers <laughs> at the Uganda Tourism Board. I was in the PR department, in the PR department. So normally, the institution um, has space for internships. Different universities send their students, Makere, Mobs, UHTTI. And at the time, UHTTI had set a lot there. So um, they take it seriously, the internships. Almost every year, there's a group that comes from UHTTI to the tourism board for internship. So at that time, Derek was among the group that came. Derek said, <laughs> So he came, they placed him in the marketing department, which is our busiest department, which was the busiest department then. Um, but then uh, Derek came to me, uh, requesting, he didn't request for work, but I was short staffed in my department and I needed to, you know, from the work in government, you need to file documents, you need to, you know, put your accounts in order. So I asked Derek for like almost two weeks to file a document for me. Um, to print things for me, like basically administrative work. And after some time, he was like, But Madam Sandra, why don't you give me a, like real work? I'm like, like What What can you do? He's like, I can take pictures. I'm like, Okay. Thank like, you. Yeah, I can take pictures. I've done it before. So at the time, we had a small camera. I don't even think he can look at it twice at this moment. We had a small camera. I gave it to him. And I'm like, Well, here it is. So let's work. Derek took pictures um, and he positioned himself. He used that opportunity to position himself. He took pictures for us for the duration of his internship. Normally, after the internship, students leave. But because he had done so well and showed great impact in the institution, his internship was extended. The internship ended and he came on again as a volunteer. And he was also extended because he showed value and impact. He took photography uh, with a small camera, with the little skills he had. He learned more about photography. He bought a new camera. And through the time we worked together, I am a witness of this growth. From the first picture he took, I think, at the press conference somewhere, I couldn't even see. There was no light in nothing. I witnessed this growth to the pictures you all hear about and see on social media. So what speaks to say really? Everything you've, you've talked about here today, about attitude, about you know, um, being intentional, about how you take your career right from after school and even school, it's really not just talk. If there's anything you take from here today, is that everything the speakers have talked about today, it's real, it applies in the real world. When you're given these opportunities, just use them to position yourself and make something out of yourself. So, I just wanted to share that. Now, my that journey, the story of vision. So Derek, since his time at the board and thereafter, has taken so many pictures around Uganda, and he's launching his first inaugural exhibition at the Kampala Serena Hotel uh, on September 20th. We are inviting you all to come. I know that QHTTI is already coming. Uh, thank you so much. And we know that, we hope that most can come on board as well. But also the students, the gates are open for you. You can, you know, these links you've been telling you about, but otherwise, we would like to invite you as well uh, for the long-term exhibition. What we have at Serena is just a launch, but thereafter, we're going to have uh, an exhibition. The exhibition will continue. It's an extended exhibition for one month. It's going to be at the Summit Bureau Expenses just after, you know, the NBS offices and will be will announce the fees uh, for you to come in but it's going to be a really subsidized price that students can afford so that you can have the opportunity to see these images and just check for yourself is this something i can do what can i contribute what can i learn even from just this journey alone so we welcome you all and encourage you to follow us on social media time next frame exhibition 2024 Derek Senyoni. And myself, Sandra and Kunda, follow us and keep up to date with everything that's happening. Otherwise, I'm uh, happy to be here and to speak on behalf of Jeff. Imagine, he was my intern and now we're working together. Like, what are the odds, guys? This shows that you, once you put in the work and do 
what you're supposed to do. It always works out and favor and blessings, they follow you. So thanks guys and see you at the exhibition.